Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual edition of our adult craft from the Tulare Public Library. My name is Brittany and as always I am so excited to be crafting with you all today. All right, so for January's adult craft, we are going to keep this video very short and very sweet. What we'll be working on today are goals and intentions for 2022. This is the worksheet included um, with the craft, which I'll discuss shortly. And then to go along with that, we will be creating a magazine collage of images that help remind us of our goals and intentions or it can just be something that you put together, things that you like, things that spark your joy, as Marie Kondo would say, um, or just a way to let the creative energy flow. So whatever this means to you, um, I hope it'll create some space um, and some time to be thoughtful about how you enter this new year. So let's start by talking about the materials needed today. We did have a limited supply of craft bags available for pickup here at the library. The materials I'll be reviewing are what um, were included in those bags, but please keep in mind that if you didn't pick up a bag, often you can find these items around the house, so we hope you'll join us with what you have at home. All right, so if you pick up the craft bag, what it includes are four different magazines. These are going to be so that you can find and cut out photos or pictures and use them for your magazine collage. We have an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. It's just a little bit thicker than regular paper and it will be the backing for our magazine collage. We have this goals spreadsheet that I mentioned earlier, my goals for this year. It has a place where you can write in the year, your motto for the upcoming year, and there's space for five different goals. And importantly, there's space below those goals for you to write in the action steps. Now, it's really important when we're setting goals to not only say, this is where I wanna end up, but to have quantifiable steps that we can take. Where do you start on this journey to achieving this goal? Um, so that's really great to have that space there. So you can really create a clear vision for how, you're, how you will move forward. All right, if you, uh, if you picked up the craft supply bag, you will also have gotten a popsicle stick. This will be used for spreading glue on the magazine cutouts and gluing them to your cardstock. If you don't have a popsicle stick at home, you can use anything that would apply glue. We also have a small container here of Mod Podge glue. Again, if you didn't get the supply bag, then any type of glue or tape that you can find at home works. All right, so. In most of our craft videos, I show you how to do point A to point Z, how to use all of our raw materials and create the final product. This video is going to be a little bit different in that I won't bore you with the process of cutting and gluing, but I will show you my collage if you're looking for a sense of how to get started or how to tie in these images to your goals. Um, hopefully this will give you a little bit of a nudge to get started. But again, this is going to be such an individual and unique craft to each person um, that I get excited just thinking about all the creativity <laughs> um, churning out there while, while you're working on this. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to generally show you this collage that I created. Now you'll notice that I didn't want to keep it to the confines of the eight and a half by 11. So you'll notice I've got heads sticking up above my board. I've got an astronaut's head there. I've got these spooky, awesome hands on the side that are kind of sticking off. So you can make this any shape, any orientation that you want. Um, just to give you a quick sense of what I've created here. Um, so one of my goals each year is always to read more for the sake of learning and just because I enjoy it so much. In particular, this year's reading goal is, is very pertinent because the Tulare Public Library for the entire month of January is participating in our Read for a Better World Winter Reading Challenge. So for those of you who also want to read more this year, who have that goal on your bucket list, um, please join us for that reading challenge. There's incentives and prizes. It's a great way for us to all start the year off right. Um, so come in if you have questions about that or check our website um, because by the time you watch this video, you'll still have more than a week to participate. So I've got my books stacked up here indicating my goal. 
to read more. I've got some wonderful people in the top corner whose energy I appreciate and want to bring into 2022. I've got my journal here. I've never been someone that journals myself, but as everyone knows, these past years have, or these past couple of years rather, have been a little wacky. There have been some extra feelings <laughs> involved. I don't know about you all, but for me at least. Um, so one of my goals is, even if it's one sentence a day, to write an entry in a journal. So that's represented there. You'll notice my little astronaut here. This is not a literal representation. I'm not training for NASA or anything like that. But what that image represents for me is one of my goals being practicing being less reactionary. Give myself a little bit more time to breathe and think through how I want to proceed um, before, I, before I jump to action. So that astronaut just represents kind of sitting back, looking at the big picture, taking things in before deciding how to move through the world. Um, I also have some beautiful succulent house plants here. Another of my goals is to continue expanding my knowledge when it comes to house plants, how they're grown, different species, things like that. So that's what's represented there. I have the word Spanish at the end of a rainbow here. One of my continuing goals in 2022 is to improve my Spanish language skills. In my action steps under my goals, I have included a really specific quantifiable goal of starting with at least 30 minutes of listening practice. That's a great way that I can chip away um, at that intention for 2021. Um, and then last but not least, I wanted to point out, I have these beautiful spooky hands here on the side. That doesn't correspond to anything on my goals list, but it's an image that grabbed my attention. It made me feel a little bit something. So I slapped it on my, on my magazine collage. That's the great thing about this. <laughs> anything that you want to do, you can do. Anything that makes you feel good, put it on there. Um, so again, that's just a general sense of how I got started. You can make this your own, do it completely, completely differently. Um, but just a sense of that's the idea, corresponding goals and visuals. I promised I would keep it short and sweet. I'm gonna stick to that promise and wrap it up here. Um, again, I hope you all found this to be a great opportunity to really take a moment and be thoughtful about what you want from 2022. I hope that you will also join us for our February adult craft. If you will be, we're going to be doing something related to Random Acts of Kindness Day. Really looking forward to that one. We will have craft supply bags available on Thursday, February 10th for pickup in the library. So be sure to mark, your date, mark that date on your calendars, come in and pick things up. Stay tuned to our social media pages and website um, for additional details on that. And until then, take care of yourselves and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks everyone, bye.